In Nigeria, theatrics are often exhibited by public officials in courtrooms, police custody, as well as the National Assembly panel when they are being tried for flagrant fraud cases. Time and time again, public officials always have different tricks up their sleeves. It appears they have all masterminded the art of feigning ailments and the infamous fainting strategy is mostly used during court hearings. Perhaps you either stalled the trial or escaped the long arm of justice. The strategy was triumphant when former Inspector General of Police, Tafa Balogun, was tried for corruption in June 2005. Balogun was charged to court and arraigned for embezzling and laundering over $100 million in his three years as Inspector General of Police from the Police Treasury. His trial was quite a dramatic one as he collapsed on his seat at the Abuja High Court. Years down the line, former Minister of Aviation Femi Fani Kayode followed suit in October 2016 as he passed out while he was in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC. At the time, his spokesperson Jude Undukwe had alleged that Fani Kayode was undergoing recovery therapy following his prolonged detention and was physically attacked by an EFCC officer when he fainted and was revived by the medical team at the anti-graft facility. He was tried on the grounds of corruption. He was accused of receiving illicit funds from former National Security Advisor Sambo Dasuki. Oisametwe's trial was hilarious to the core. The former spokesperson of Nigeria's lead opposition party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, was arraigned in 2016 for money laundering by EFCC. The Anti Graft Commission accused him of receiving 400 million naira from the same largesse like Fanny Kayade. During his trial, Metwe alleged that he was ill and he sought the court's permission to travel out of the country for treatment. His requests were denied. He then was unable to make an appearance in court. Reports had it that he had been admitted at the Inamdi Azikwe Hospital in Iwi, Anambra State. The judge remained undeterred and asked that he be present in court on the next adjourned date. Two weeks later, Metwe showed up in an ambulance. In March 2018, he fainted as he approached the dock. Just like a male counterpart, Justice Rita Ofili Ajumobogia also slumped on December 14, 2018, minutes to the commencement of her trial. She had been arraigned by the AFCC before an Ikeja High Court for provision of the cause of justice, unlawful enrichment, and forgery. Former Nigerian Senator Dino Melaye also used the same fainting technique in January 2019 during his arrest. Police had laid siege to the home of Melaye, who represented Kogi West Senatorial District at the time. The former senator made things difficult as he refused to be apprehended after he was accused of criminal conspiracy and culpable homicide. After eight days without water and electricity in his Abuja home, he turned himself in. He, however, slumped while arriving at the station. He was reluctant to leave his hospital bed for the court in Okocha after he claimed he was ill. On the 2nd of May 2018, he had appeared in court on a stretcher after he was charged with attempting to escape arrest. He had reportedly hid in a tree in order to escape from the police. He also jumped out of the moving vehicle with which the police were conveying him to a local jack court, eventually landing at the Sankili Medical Center, Mabuchi, Abuja. July 2020 came and Professor Kime Brakidikumo Ponde the interim managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC, applied the same technique as it collapsed while being probed by the House of Representatives. What followed next was hilarious as people rushed to his side, 
someone was seen massaging his shoulders while another tried to open his mouth to revive him. Hyundai was being interrogated over his alleged involvement in the misappropriation of 82.5 billion naira by the commission. Abdul Rashid Minor, a former chairman of the Defunct Pension Reform Task Force team, also fainted in the dock while being arraigned by the EFCC on charges of laundering over 2 billion naira from the pension scheme. He suddenly passed out at the Federal High Court in Abuja on Thursday morning, December 10, 2020. Before the incident, he had appeared in court in a wheelchair. After he was granted bail, his health was suddenly restored as he travelled from Sokoto to Niger Republic, where he took cover for months before he was rearrested and extradited to Nigeria to face trial. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and check out our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.